to Speaking of Sports. I'm your host, Jared Slack. This week I'm going to make some predictions on the upcoming NFL season, starting in the AFC. In the AFC North, I had the Steelers winning their division going 10-6, and even without Antonio Brown or Le'Veon Bell. <clears throat> Coming in second, I had the Cleveland Browns. They, uh, they're going to have their first winning season in over 12 years. After acquiring Odell Beckham Jr., and uh, having Jarvis Landry on the opposite side of the ball, they're going to have a great offensive year. And with their defense doing as good as they did last year, and I think they're going to take a step up this year, and they're going to have a great year. Uh, I think they'll, they'll go 9-7 and with a chance for a wild card spot. I think the Ravens will take a step back this year. The defenses are going to start to slow down Lamar Jackson, force him to throw from the pocket. And uh, it, it's hard for a young quarterback to – have success throwing from the pocket like that. I think they're going to go eight and eight this year, and the Bengals the Bengals are going to have an unfortunate season going six and ten. Now in the AFC East, surprise surprise, the Patriots are going to win their division. I think they're going to go eleven and five. Their defense is going to be dysfunctional in the beginning, like every year, but they're really going to tighten it up come uh, the end of the year in playoffs. The Jets are going to be second in their division. They have a lot of young talent. And their quarterback, Sam Donald, is going to have a lot of a lot of help by a veteran running back, Le'Veon Bell. I think the Jets are going to go 8-8 eight eight this season, while Miami and Buffalo are both going to have losing seasons. In the AFC West, I have the Chiefs winning their division without Tyreek Hill and Kareem Hunt. Mahomes, Mahomes takes a big leap, and the Chiefs have a great season. I think they're going to be the AFC representative for the Super Bowl. Mahomes gets paid big time at the end of this year. The Chargers sneak into the playoffs by Walker spot, and they're going to be playing the Browns. I think uh, Phillip Rivers is going to have another great year, and the offense will be firing on all cylinders. The Broncos and Joe Flacco will have an okay year. This team needs a, a veteran quarterback, even if it is just Joe Flacco. I think this team will finish 500. The Raiders have good talent. They're just in a hard division with the Chiefs and Chargers. They did acquire Antonio Brown over this past offseason. Uh, let's see if they, they know how to use him. It's nice to have a, quarterback, a Corvette, but what good is it in the driveway? In the AFC South, uh, the Colts taking control of their division. They had a good team last year, and they picked up a couple more people in the offseason. They might make it to the AFC Championship. The same as last year, the uh, the Texans will follow the clo clo close to the Colts, but won't get over the hump for the wild card spot. The Titans franchise quarterback will have some competition going into this year against Ryan Tannehill. <clears throat> Marcus will need to step up, step up his game if he wants to win his job. The Jaguars have yet another dis disappointing season. Nick Foles will not be able to live up to the hype, and their defense will not be able to carry them all season long. Now let's talk NBA. The Bucks pull ahead in their series 3-1 against the Celtics. They won 113-101. to Giannis had 39 points and 16 rebounds. Tonight, can the Bucks close out their series? Houston ties the series 2-2 at home with a victory of 112-108. to James Harden had 38 points and had 10 rebounds. Game 5 is tonight in the Bay Area. Can the Rockets still win on the road? If you have any sports-related questions, please comment below, and I will try to answer them with next week's episode. Thank you for listening and speaking of sports. I'm your host, Jared Slack. Join me next Wednesday at 2 p.m. Central Time on the Mute Mobile Media YouTube Network.